G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam and in this video we're going to talk about symmetric encryption using AMP script in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. I'll talk you through what it is, how it works, and a few use cases you might find useful for your Salesforce Marketing Cloud projects. So put simply, symmetric encryption is the ability to encode one set of data with a key and then decode that data again with the same key. The best example of a symmetric encryption would be the simple padlock. One key can be used to lock the padlock or encrypt your data, and that very same key can be used to then unlock or decrypt your data. So what better way to show how this works than to do it inside Marketing Cloud. So I've got an example email here in Content Builder, and inside my content block, I've got an AMP script code block. In my code block here, I start off by specifying three values, my symmetric key, my salt, and my initialization vector. And these are the three customer keys of the three keys that I've created inside of the admin menu. Now after that, I can then start to call my encrypt symmetric and decrypt symmetric AMP script functions. So to talk you through how this works, I start off by specifying a value to encrypt. In this case, I've got a data extension with the value of first name. So I'm setting the value of original as first name. I'm then going to output that value so you can see the value for yourself. I then go and use the encrypt symmetric AMP script function to encrypt that original text using the symmetric key, the salt, and the initialization vector. I then output the encrypted value before decrypting it using those same three values, the key, the salt, and the IV. I'll then output the decrypted value, which should be clean text, and it should be exactly the same as the original input text. So let's give that a go. So for our first record, I've got Astro. As you can see, the original input value was Astro. We then encrypted Astro's name, producing this string, before we decrypted that string into the value of Astro again. I can push forward to our next record, and Einstein again, you can see the plain text was then encrypted and then decrypted, and again for Appy, and then once more for Brandy. If we take a look in the setup menu under data management and key management, we can see the three keys that I've specified my salt, my symmetric encryption key, and the initialization vector. So now that you've seen how this symmetric encryption works, let's do one for ourselves. I'll start off by deleting all my previous keys and content, so we can start from scratch. So that's the keys gone, and back into my email, we'll also delete all the AMP script. Let's start this process from scratch. So the first thing we'll do is we'll make ourselves some new keys. So we'll jump back into the setup menu and under key management, let's make ourselves a new key. Now if we have a look at the documentation for the symmetric encryption, we can see that we do require the use of some hex keys. Now we have a scroll down here, it does ask for an 8-byte key for the salt and a 16-byte key for the IV. Now what we can do is we can use a random hex number generator, I've got one here. I'll put the link in the description below. You can go into this uh, random hex generator and you can actually make yourself some random hex keys. So I'll press random a few times and I'll copy this as my first key. And for my first key, I'm going to use the symmetric encryption key. I'm going to call this one cam sim key. And for my pre shared key, I can paste in that value. And then I'll go save. All right, first one created. Let's now make our second key. Now for the second key, I'm going to create a salt. Now the salt just adds complexity to our existing string used during the encryption process. So I'll call this one cam salt. And for our key, I can also go back in and I can choose myself another random key. This one I'll generate some more hex characters. Copy that key across and paste it into the salt. And then I'll go save. Okay, and finally I have to make the initialization vector key. Now for this one, we don't actually use the IV selection option here, we still use the symmetric key type. Now for this one, I'll call this one cam IV, just for naming convention. And for the pre-shared key, I'll once more use the random hex generator to generate another set of 16 digits. Choose this one here and paste it into my pre-shared key, just like that. And I'll go save. Okay, so now I have my three pre-created keys. I'm gonna go and copy the text of those three keys and jump back into my email. So here's my nice blank email. I jump into my content block with nothing in it. I'm going to create my AMP script code block and I'm going to paste in those keys because I want to set these as the values of those AMP script keys. 
So I'll jump in and I'll start off by saying set at the symmetric key should be equal to that external key value. With the initialization vector, same thing. I'll go set at IV. It's going to be equal to this value. That key. And finally, of course, is going to be our salt. I'll say set salt is going to be equal to the final external key. All right, there we are. There's our three keys to use. So next I can jump in to the documentation for the symmetric encryption in AMP script and put the link in the description below for you. We'll jump into the documentation and have a look at our syntax. And the great thing is that we can jump down to our documentation here and see a great example of how this works. You can see here that if we do have the keys provided, we actually use the external key followed by the null. Key then null and then key and then null. So I'm going to copy this one here and jump back into my email and paste that inside of my AirScript code block. So we're going to encrypt our data. The text we're going to encrypt, well we could encrypt example, but I do actually have a data extension selected. So I can jump into my personalization. I might choose email address this time. Let's go set text. It's going to be equal to our email address value from our data extension. We're then going to encrypt text. Perfect. Now the external key for our symmetric key is going to be called sim. So put sim in, followed by null. The next ordinal is of course salt, which we use at salt, followed by null. And finally the IV, which was just at IV, followed by null. And there we are. That's going to encrypt our data using those three keys in the AES format. Once it's encrypted, we of course then need to decrypt those values. So I now jump in to the next documentation piece, our decrypt, and then scroll down again. In our documentation, we again have a very similar set of documentation. I copy this first line because it has all the code that I need. Go back into my email and paste it in. So here is our clear data. We're going to decrypt what value? Well, that's the value there. We've encrypted it. We need to decrypt it. Perfect. Our key is going to be sim, followed by null, followed by salt, followed by null, followed by IV, followed by null, and all done. So with our three values in, we then go down here and let's go orig will be equal to our original text. Just like that. Let's then do some line breaks. Just like that. And then of course you want to show our encrypted text and our decrypted text. So our encrypted text look like that and our clear decrypted text will look like that. Perfect. So let's give our code a go. We've got our three keys, our original text, encryption, decryption and our outputs. All right, let's go and have a look. Perfect. So to start off with Brandy, our marketer, email address of brandy at salesforce.com. Our original text was put in. It then encrypted our text producing this large string before then decrypting it again to our final value. Great. Now we can test this further by copying our encrypted data, such as this key set here, and going back into our original email and doing a separate function just to decrypt that text. So I could say set at test, we equal to that encrypted value. I'm then going to decrypt that test value that I just put in. So if I say decrypt test using those same keys, this will be hopefully Brandy's email, I hope. So then we'll make a nice little space down here and let's put in Brandy's email as the output. There we are. So hopefully we've inputted Brandy's encrypted email address. We then decrypt Brandy's email address and Brandy's email comes as our output. Let's give that a try. Hey, there we go. And of course, because that was a static text, we can go back. You can see Appy stays as Appy, but Brandy's email stays as Brandy, as we've just proved that the encrypted text can also be decrypted when copied and pasted statically. And there you have it. That is the encryption and decryption functions using AmScript in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. And I hope you've enjoyed learning how to use these functions with me today. If you have, then let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.